So question. Um, okay. So you're not on LinkedIn. You mentioned IG, Instagram, um, you know, hashtag the hashtags, right? Yeah. Um, so for someone getting started on a platform, do you recommend that they get where the big boys are, the big girls are, or do you recommend that they try and go somewhere else where maybe the sandbox isn't as filled? I mean, you, you mentioned one of the largest platforms in the world. I mean, is that where they should start or should they go and find somewhere else where there's not a lot of kids playing? Yes to both. <laughs> no, I think you. It, it's That's all not good. allowed. <laughs> I, I know, so I'm going to answer. It goes back to your intentions. And that's why I said LinkedIn, I'm on LinkedIn, but I don't use it the way I use the other ones. And I said, that's a big failure, epic failure. Because right now, LinkedIn is one of the only places where you can truly have that organic traffic. You know, we all know about Facebook and IG and the algorithms and this, this. So if your engagement isn't high in the beginning, it affects how you're being seen, even if you're paying for ads and things like that. LinkedIn is probably that open traffic where you can do what we used to do early on with Facebook and IG. Um, but you got to be clear on what messaging to put there and how to use it. So, you know, any of the social media can be effective. Any of them could be the ideal one for you. But if you don't know how to use it, if your audience, first of all, is not up there, then why are you using it? Even if it's if it's all this traffic, if your audience isn't there, there's no point. I mean, you can be up there as a subsidiary. In the beginning, I was on everything because that's what they told you to do. But it's like once I realized where the audience really was, that changed how we use certain ones of them. So don't just go for what the big boys are, where most people aren't playing. You need to know where your audience is. And then if your audience is where the big boys are and a lot of people aren't playing, then that's perfect for you to use that effectively for your, your, your you know, business and brand. Yeah, that's super important. I mean, knowing your numbers and knowing where people are coming from is huge. And the other aspect, though, that one of the biggest concerns that I have, especially for the younger generation, is the fact that uh, everybody measure success based on the number of likes, the number of comments, oh. the number of shares. And the thing about it is this world is moving so fast and that if you don't get the likes and comments and shares and people are so quick to move on. Yes. But you, ha you have to keep that consistent message and keep getting out, going after it. Doesn't just because you're not getting the likes that you're looking for, you're, you're, you're probably still getting the impressions and you just have to have the endurance and stick to it. What's your thoughts? Tim, that's so on it because I am the person here recently we did a rebranding. So I use a lot more of my personal photos on IG. And I'm showing you more of the behind the scenes of what I'm doing as a, a person. But I, I, I didn't have a whole bunch of likes. You know, I didn't even do a lot of stories or videos or things. So I didn't have a bunch of likes. But I had people that would go. I've been watching you for a minute. I love your post. Or if I didn't post every day, you know, we missed a day or two. Hey, is everything okay? Because we didn't see anything today. You never liked anything, but you follow so closely. So again, we were getting the business and traffic. We still are. And those people never liked anything. Isn't that crazy? So, yes. <laughs> but I have people that have a lot of likes and I'll ask them like, okay, so business-wise, how's that working for you? Oh, no one really then who cares about likes? I'm not getting any money. Right. I and wish they would just do away with them. Apparently they are. Instagram, I think, is uh, testing getting getting rid of uh, showing the number of likes. Yeah, I heard that. I just That's don't care. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, some people will say I'm crazy. Like, I just, I honestly, like, I want to help people, but I just don't care if I get like four likes, 400 likes, 4,000 likes. Like um, also like, I just can't control it, right? I can, can control the message that goes out there and that's it. And like, I, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care if someone doesn't like that my hair is longer. I don't care that someone doesn't like that I didn't post this today or that I posted that. Right. Or that. I don't care. You know what? Like, this is me. I'm going to share what I want. You can share what you want. And honestly, recently, the best feature on a lot of these social networks is the unfollow button. Yeah. So if you don't like me, unfollow me. I love it. I love it. Alicia, what?